Hey guys, so today I want to do a benchmark test here with iPhone 6s, 6, uh, 6 Plus, 6, 5s, 5, 4s and 4. This one is iOS 7.1.2 and then all of these have uh, iOS 9.0.2. So we are going to run Geekbench and uh, it's going to benchmark the phones and we are going to get a score. So that can be fun to do it with all of these phones here. And uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's go, let's uh, do this. So let's fire it up there. Bam, bam, bam. Do, 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 do. Okay, so pretty fun here, two gigabytes of RAM. This one, all of these have just one gigabyte here. Here only 500 megabytes. So that's a big difference already right there. And uh, yeah, let's uh, do this here. Let's, uh, let's run it. Run, 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 run. Okay. So it's up and running. It's gonna take a long time for the iPhone 4 over here. And uh, check the difference between the iPhone 4 and the iPhone 6s. Whoa! <laughs> it's already finished. Uh, 2565. Okay, now the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus is coming in here. 5s also and then we gotta wait on the other ones but, but we can still go over these scores here so um, you can see that the 6s almost doubles the scores of a 6 or uh, a 6 plus so that's very very nice 2500 close to 3000 and these are more around 1500 and uh, in the multi-score there is a little bit of a smaller difference, uh, but still a dramatic uh, improvement there. And then we do have the comparing the 5S uh, to the new iPhone 6 and 6 Plus from last year. There really was just a tiny, tiny speed bump. So that wasn't really that interesting. Uh, but we had an interesting speed bump uh, if we compare the 5S to the 5 where they kind of double the speeds in, in many, many ways. And uh, now we've also got to wait for single core phone, only one gigahertz, I think, or something, 800 megahertz, I think, yeah, 800 megahertz, something, single core, and this one is dual, like 800 megahertz, so I'm pretty sure. But uh, yeah, they are uh, behind. They are behind. Just have a little bit left here, but the iPhone 4, that one seems to really be struggling. Now this one is on stream scale, so I wonder when the iPhone 4 is going to come at that area. But it's getting closer to finishing up here on the 4S. around three minutes running time on the 4S. And there we go. <laughs> oh, holy. ooh, 200 in single core score. It's crazy to compare it against the iPhone 6S with uh, almost 2,600. So how many times faster is that? Let's have a look here. So, I'm going to bring up a calculator. So if we take 2,565 and split it with 217, it's almost 12 times higher, 12 times better, uh, 12 times higher score on the 6S compared 
2D4S, so that's extremely, extremely impressive. That's very, very nice, actually. Wow. Wow. And of course, the iPhone 4 is slow. Yes, it is. It's very slow. And it's going to take a long time to finish. Maybe, I think so. It should... It's going to take maybe six minutes or something, maybe? I don't want to fast forward because it's fun to see and when you see it in comparison to the 6S the massive, massive difference in performance and in the 6S of course is now future, a little, way more future proof it's very, very nice that they made a nice speed bump comp uh, comparing to the not lost generation that's very very nice and Apple usually don't do it every year and then we got the score. <laughs> so, uh, same thing, of course, for us, the forest, but in a multi core score, it's only 210. So, let's compare that. How, how many times faster is the 6S on the multi core score? So, if we just take 4482 that we got on a multi core score, the 6S, and split it by 210 that I got on a 4 in multi core, then Oh, it's around 21 times faster, the uh, 6S. So that's very, very nice. Pretty fun to do this video. Hopefully you did enjoy. And definitely let me know if you want to see anything else. And I definitely will see what I can do. Yeah, peace.